Okay, I'm shifting gears right now. This 12-inch table model 1950 Zenith porthole set is actually more important to me than the 19-inch uh, mahogany console that I had started to work on and discovered that it had an open focus coil. So until I can get a replacement focus coil assembly for it, which I may or may not be able to find. I have to set that aside. And this is the third uh, porthole set I have. And like I say, this set is more important to me because it's pretty much practically family. It, um, it came from a family friend. It was given to me in the 1970s. It was a working set when I first got it. I actually uh, played this set a fair amount had a nice picture on it but through the years and sitting around and I haven't had it powered up for a long time it doesn't work anymore so let's see what I can do with this I've got it out of the cabinet all originally dusty like I say I've owned this TV since the mid 1970s it came from a family friend so I consider this to be family and I'm kind of glad I'm starting on it next even though I got stymied on my last Zenith porthole. This is the third and the only Zenith porthole set I will ever work on aside from the one if I can ever finish it with a focusing coil. If someone has one for me maybe I'll find one. But for now it's too bad that other set's got a good tube in it too, a good picture tube. One will come along perhaps, but we'll see what I can find with this one. <laughs> I'll see what uh, what's to be uh, fixed on it. It did work when it was given to me. And I actually had it playing for, oh, two or three years before I set it aside and it didn't get uh, turned on anymore. I uh, tried powering it up, oh, a little while back and I got a loud hum out of the transformer. So I suspect that something, maybe a filter cap or something is shorted. I don't know. It has a 12 UP4 metal picture tube in it. The tube was reasonably bright when I had it working. I'm going to test it so I don't suspect that it's, um, that it's really aged beyond giving me a, uh, an image of some sort. Now the best I could find is G2327R7 as the model on the internet, but I don't think that's right because that set as pictured does not have the antenna tuner up at the top of the bezel, that, that knob that you turn right here. This one does. And uh, it also lists that that has a 23G24 chassis in it. This has a 23 G22 or 23. I think this is probably a G22. So the exact Zenith model number uh, so far, unless somebody can inform me, is a guess at this point. But I'm going to, for now, I'm going to call it a G2327 R7. So the next step is, is I'm going to test the CRT. Okay, I've let this... Um, tube uh, cook for a while and there's no shorts. I, I've got the right indications on the lamps. Emissions. Well, we're right on the border. Right on the border. So the tube is not that good. Let's see what cutoff says. And well, it's got cutoff but not very good emission. Well, I'm not going to worry about that. Ooh, it's even going down a little bit. <laughs> wow. I don't know. Maybe maybe this tube isn't uh, really worth... It seemed to me that it did have a picture on it, so I don't know. I could still still rebuild it and hope for the best on that tube, but, you know, the, the tube just doesn't seem that good. Yeah. 
I could do a rejuve on it, I guess. And see it's even dropping a little bit. Well, I guess that maybe this set, I don't know if I'm going to want to go through trying to, to restore this or not with that low tube on it. I have to think about it. Here's a table I got to, to display it on. I was at a uh, junk store when they were unloading a load of stuff they just got in. And this nice swivel table is the table for that TV. At least it, it's one designed for a TV of that sort. So I'm going to use this table to display that set on. So here I got it back together and on its on the table I got for it. It fits that table just nicely. That table like like it was really meant for that table. The swivel doesn't work very well with the, the weight of the set on it, but it's an old table. Probably in its day that was a fairly cheap table. Um, but it supports that set nice and that's actually where that set should sit is on a table of that type. So, for now, it's going to be just a display piece in my collection. It's uh, with the, the CRT as, as weak or non-existent as it is, I don't see that I can uh, spend too much time trying to restore it. If I get a beam builder, a Sencor beam builder, I might try restoring that CRT with the beam builder. If I can restore it, then... Uh, then I might uh, uh, try to try to get this set working, but uh, we're in July of 2016, and this is, as you know, I got this uh, Sears set, Silver Tone, and then I've got the uh, Tenenson, the 19-inch uh, Zenith uh, 1951 Tenenson to finish. So this is going to just be a display piece in my collection for now. That's about it.